Today we're going to set up our MLA paper in Microsoft Word. There are templates that go with Microsoft Word, but very often they aren't exactly correct. So I'm going to open a new blank document. Next, I'm going to make sure my margins are set up correctly. I'll go to Layout, Margins, and I want to have a one inch margin all the way around. Now we are going to go to Custom Margins because there are times that your teacher will request a different margin. For example, I know a teacher that likes a 1.5 left margin, so there's room for binding. Um, and you would change that here. I'm going to do Command A, which selects everything. And I'm going to go to Home and click on Times New Roman and, of course, 12 point. This is how I'm going to start that. Now, up here at the top, I'm going to go to Format and Paragraph. If this was on the PC, I would go to the Paragraph jump arrow to set this. Now, later on, when we are doing um, our MLA citations, we would go to Hanging Indent here under Special. But currently, um, we're, just, we're just going to have none because we're going to do it manually. But we are going to set our line spacing here to be double spacing. And then we're going to say, OK. Now we're going to type our heading. And notice there's a difference between a heading and a header. I'm going to put the student name up here at the top. Then I'm going to have the name of my teacher or my professor. Then I'm going to have the name of the course. If you're not sure, check on your course enrollment papers or your online student information system to know exactly the name of the course. And then we want to put the date. Now the date is an MLA format. That means that you have the day in a numeral form, the month, and then the year. There are no commas in this. Now I'm going to press enter and I'm going to go back to left. Then at the beginning of each paragraph, I will indent. Now you can see that I have typed my first paragraph and my second paragraph. These, of course, have a first line indent, which I could set in my paragraph, or I can just press tab. Notice that my spacing is happening automatically. I'm going to click on the paragraph mark just so I can check this, but you can see that I have a tab here and a tab there, which if you set the first line indent, you don't have to do that. And then you can see I've pressed enter at the end of each paragraph. Now, I don't want to get too far until I set up my MLA header. As you can see at the Al Purdue Writing Lab, they have a sample MLA paper here, and they show the heading at the top, and it consists of a person's last name, a space, and the first page number. Uh, the second page number will have page two. Now, there are some teachers and professors who do not want this page number on the first page. For purposes of this lesson, I'm going to teach that there is a number on this first page. I'm going to double click at the top into my head header. And because this is on a Mac, I'm going to go ahead and go to page number, format page number. Now, if I was starting on page two, because I didn't want to be on page one, I would actually say start at two. Okay, and that would work. But here, I'm just going to start it at one, or I can say continue from previous section, which there is no previous section. So it'll just start on one. And I'm going to say, okay. So just remember that if you start on page two. I'm going to say page number, page number. I am going to show the number on the first page, and I'm going to put it on the right. Top of page header, right, OK. Now, one thing I don't like about what the Mac will do is that this number is not going to be in Times New Roman 12 point. So I'm going to double click it, and I'm going to go to Times New Roman and 12. But I also have to put my name in front of it. 
So I'm going to press tab. Now, here's the other thing I don't like about the Mac because you can see that it's putting it over a little too far. So when I type my name, it's over the one there. Now, even if I add a space, it's just not perfect here. So I'll tell you what I typically show people to do. I think this is generally accepted just because this is how the Mac is. I actually, before I type my name, I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to slightly move it over to the right. Now let me press tab again. And you don't have to move all of that text over like I did. All of those little markers over. But for me, that just gives a little bit of spacing. And then I can just take it, just nudge it over just a little bit. Just to try to get it as, as closely aligned to this left margin as I can. And now I have created my MLA paper format. Just want to make sure I save. Now you can also save this as a template if you want to. I could go to Word template and then have it to open from then on out, but I'm just going to save this as a Word document and click save. 